Follow me for more quick, fast, easy meals. Country style turkey sausage potatoes. potatoes so you're gonna want to put get a huge frying pan put a light coat of olive oil in there get some really huge potatoes I'm just gonna do about four potatoes and I got the really nice size the red bag so you want three I'm gonna cut them up and then I'm gonna clean them so you want to cut them in little bite-sized pieces. What I do is I just cut mine straight down the middle. Cut them on the side. And you just want to cut them across. Red potatoes are so delicious. It's like a country style. I got my skillet going. So you want them to look a little something like this. Bite-sized pieces. Um, I'm going to get a strainer so that I can strain it. back <laughs> so I got my oil getting hot I'm gonna cut my potatoes up and put them in the strainer so that we can clean them really nice I'm gonna add a little bit of meat my grease is over there popping so let's rush this this is a really nice hearty breakfast it's delicious the filling it's gonna be packed with vegetables I'm gonna put some red peppers some onions some jalapeno because I like spicy but that's optional so for your red potatoes you're going to need some either brown potatoes red or yellow nice medium size and you're going to cut them up I'm going to throw my onions I already have my onions diced and ready to go but I'm going to throw them in because my grease is ready and so I'm going to get this going. So I already have my finely sliced onions. That was not cool. So I'm going to turn it down. I had it on high because so I wanted it to be really hot. But I turned it down just a little bit. I got my onions over there sauteing. We're going to get the rest of these potatoes cut. But yeah, like I was saying, this is a really nice, hearty breakfast. I'm going to add some meat, and this is all you need, and you could do some scrambled eggs on the side. So see, these are nice bite-sized pieces, so you want your potatoes to be that size. So now that the potatoes are all nice and cleaned and cut, what I do is I just put like a really light layer of olive oil so that the seasoning can stick. And I'm going to use my multi-purpose seasoning it is a salt onion garlic pepper it's no gmo no artificial flavoring zero calories i promote this a lot and you can find this on my website at sashascatering.com and this i love it because it's all natural and it's all vegetables and just look how 
seasons. I have lots of seasons. This one's multi-purpose, so this can be used on anything, but it's really good on steak, burgers, chicken, roasted veggies, potatoes, and pork chops. So you just want to nicely season those. And then I just add a little cayenne pepper because I like spice. And these potatoes, these country potatoes are so delicious. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper. But yeah, if you go to my website, I have some really nice seasonings. Um, they're very um, all natural, and this is why I like them. You just wanna give that a nice little swirl so they're seasoned nicely. And this is a quick, fast, easy meal. So now that our grease is nice and hot, we're just going to dump those potatoes in there. And we just want to saute those just a little bit. I'm going to turn it back on high because I want my potatoes to kind of be crispy. I don't want them to be soggy. So you want to make sure you really drain the water off the potatoes so when you do put them in a hot skillet, you can have crunchy potatoes versus soggy potatoes. A lot of people make the mistake by not draining all the water off their potatoes, and so that's why their, their potatoes come out a little bit on the soggy side. So we're going to keep that on high, and I'm going to cut up some sausage and some vegetables. Okay, so we're gonna slide back over here. You can use green potato, um, you can use whatever vegetables. Um, you could put green peppers, yellow, orange, red. I'm gonna use, I just had these available, so I'm gonna use the orange bell pepper. And I'm only gonna put a little bit in there, so this is like a half the slice off each one. So I'm gonna do the red, the yellow, and then I like spicy, like I said, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of jalapeno in there. To give it that kick if you don't like spice then you don't have to use spice but i think country potatoes with a little bit of kick to it is just delicious so this right here is a paring knife and this is good for cutting vegetables so we're gonna Cut these vegetables up. And you just want these kind of tiny, not too big, just like, you know, the size that they are. Because the potatoes are bite sized, so you want these to kind of be smaller. Then you can have one in each bite. And I like this dish because, like I said, it's packed with protein, vitamins, bell peppers are really high and protein so the more vegetables you put in your potatoes the better potatoes is a vegetable too so this is pretty much a veggie breakfast i make this really good quiche too i think i'm not for sure if i have a youtube video on it i'm gonna have to go back and check matter of fact i think i do have a vegetarian quiche on my page so if you're into like vegetarian breakfast quiches if you keep scrolling on my channel, you perhaps might run into it. And so me, I like restaurant style stuff, so I always cut my sausages at a slant because it just makes your food look a little bit more professional. So you see how you, the slices come out a little bit more so you get more meat in your bite versus straight across. So if you do it straight across, see the difference this looks more professional so you'll look like a real chef even if you're not a real chef you can look like one and you can feel like one so I always cut mine at a slant so you can have that slanted plus you get more meat in your dish like I said so we're gonna cut these at a slant see look how nice and meaty those are yay but yep, this is a really nice breakfast. It's healthy. This is turkey sausage. And so it's really low calories. I'm all about low calories because we got to keep the figures. If you're trying to gain weight, then that's a little different. But if you're just trying to maintain the weight that you have, then this is a better alternative. 
So now that these potatoes are frying, it's smelling so good. They're nicely seasoned. And these onions, I don't know if you've ever smelled country fried potatoes, but boy, these onions mixed with these potatoes are everything. So now that we have that, we're going to put in our sausage, our onions. So yeah, that's how it's looking. Ooh, yummy. So I'm gonna get some scrambled eggs. I think I'm gonna do sunny side eggs and make it like a scrambler skillet. You never have those scrambler skillets and then have like your, the yolk running all over it with some toast on the side. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. So this is nicely seasoned. You don't want it too seasoned because the vegetables by itself is going to give it a wonderful kick. And like I said, depending on your spice level, you can add your Kanye and your um, jalapeno for extra spice. If you don't like spice, then you don't have to have spice. But I love me some spicy potatoes. And I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun sauce to this because I want a little Cajun kick. But this sauce right here is everything. If you have not tried it, I suggest you run over to my website at www.sashascatering.com. I have multiple sauces and seasonings for everything. Mexican sauces, seasonings, teriyaki, barbecue, you name it. And they're all natural, no GMO. So I really push this product because I've been a chef for a long time and I love it. It's one of my favorites. And you can eat as much as you want because there's no salt, no high preservatives, nothing. It's just all natural. So, and it gives, it has a really nice, powerful kick. Mm, now look at that pack of seasoning. That just looks so delicious. Alright, these potatoes are coming along nicely. So you're going to cook these for about, I'll say 15 minutes. You can cover them to make them cook faster, but I don't like to cover mine because it makes them soggy. So I like my potatoes to be a little bit crunchy. But if you like really soft potatoes, then I would cover them. So it does have a, so they're almost coming together nicely. But yeah, if you cover the tops of them, then you can get a quicker cook, but it makes your potatoes really soft. I kind of like my potatoes crunchy, so I'm gonna keep mine uncovered. And now I'm gonna go and get me some scrambled eggs. I'm gonna make me some cheesy eggs. I was gonna do the scrambler sunny side up, but I'm in the mood for scrambled eggs today. So there you have it. I drained all the oil off and just look how delicious that looks. Yummy breakfast sausage potatoes. So there you have it. Nice good old country style potatoes. I'm gonna get some toast to put on the side, some cheesy scrambled eggs and some fresh fruit. These cheesy. I made these off camera because everybody knows how to make cheesy eggs. But these are my fluffy cheesy eggs. Look at that. Yummy. I'm probably only going to eat half of this because this is a lot of food. So I, I make me a nice breakfast and I just eat on it throughout the day. Oh, the potatoes and eggs are done. Yummy. We're going to garnish it with the little cut up green onions. Green onions and potatoes take so good together. Okay, so we're just going to garnish it a little bit. Not too much because I already put onions in there just for color. 
and you gotta have that good old Louisiana hot sauce. And it's not potatoes unless you got this. We are gonna sprinkle that on. I got my fresh fruit. And some toast. 